What's up guys? So I haven't done any kind of like a tutorial video in a while, but this one needs to be done because there's just not a lot of information out there. Um, I read a guide and it had like the basics of what you need to get. It has the, the you know, the small schematic from uh, superleds.com, but it's not super informative, but I finally got it together. Um, the guy that made the post, I had him call me because I could, you know, I got confused by calling Super LED Tech Support for their help, they confused me. So he finally called me after all day today, um, which not his fault, you know, some people are busy, but anyway, I've got this figured out now. It should have been super simple, but you know, when you don't know where to put the thing, it's not. So pretty much, I converted this entire bike to LED, which it's been done a lot before. There's, I just hadn't seen a lot of guides out there about it, and a lot of them that go into depth. So pretty much, we'll start with the headlight. That's a Cyclops 3800 lumen uh, LED headlight, and I'll click it on here for you. You can kind of see that's, I mean, it's not going to be nighttime, but you can kind of see that's low beam. There's brights. This thing is super bright, 3800 uh, lumen, and it's LED. You can kind of hear the fan going right there. It's got a little fan on the back that keeps it cool, and it's got a little uh, Cyclops box. You can see right back in there. There's a little box there. I've just kind of Velcroed that up there. So that's the headlight. That's a super simple install that plugs into your H4 socket. No cutting, nothing. You pretty much just have to slice your... There's a round rubber boot that goes around. You slice it, and then you can fit it around there, and that'll keep the water from getting on it. And it fits perfect every time the first time. All right. Um, next, we'll go to the LED brake light. That's another simple... Um, that's another simple install. You pretty much take it out. You replace the bulb from Super LEDs. I don't have the part number. I'm going to put it all in the description and show you a link to the, the, the post I used to get all the information to get the stuff from Super LED. The, that headlight was 68. It was about 75 shipped, but it is worth it. Don't get the cheap ones because they, they will go out. Those little ballast boxes that are in there, whatever they're called, those are what goes out. Get the good one. Get the Cyclops one. And you even get a, a badass little... Cyclops sticker and pretty much the LED is from super for the brake light is from super LED.com um, next I'll go to the LED thing here this is just the thing I did have two of them but I broke one so I just put one they're really bright that's all you need it's just got an LED in there and that's pretty much what you just connect right up to it and it works you don't need anything in line no diodes it plugs in it works so that's your tail, your license plate light. Next, we'll go to the dash lights. Pretty much, they're all, uh, you just plug them in. There's three of them. This is a Gen 1 KLR650. There's three of them. Get whatever color you want. I've got cool white. Some people go red. They just plug right into the back once you have all this out. Um, next, you, if you want to do the neutral light, that's another one. That's a 74 bulb. You just plug it right in. And that's the same as the turn signal. That's a 74 bulb also. Then your high beam's a little bit bigger bulb, and that just plugs right in too. So all that works, and you can see, turn the key back on. There's the neutral light. It's pretty bright. There's the blue light. That one's pretty bright too. I don't have my other signal here plugged in. I got to wire it up still, but I was pretty much just frustrated that there wasn't an exact guide out there and I you know I'd rather watch a video guide and that's why I had to have the guy call me because I hate reading forum posts and replying and waiting for a reply you know I'm, when I'm doing something I want to get it done I want to find a video on it that explains it and that's a lot of things on my channel I've made guides for for things that there aren't a lot of video guides out there I like hands-on guides you know where you can see what the person's doing not like you know seeing you know uh, typed out so pretty much I'll go to the turn signals next. Pretty much you're going to replace your one bulb, that's a 74, and then you'll get the four LED turn signals, and I'll have all the links to the right ones in the description that you'll want, but I'll show you the bulb here. This is the bulb you'll get. This is a um, 100 degree angle LED bulb, which I think it's an 1156, and it's got 19 LEDs on it. So I pretty much got this cover open for now because I was doing some testing but now that it's right I'm gonna button everything back up on here okay so now the part that was really confusing when I called super LED to ask them where to hook this diode kit they told me the back the rear of the bike that's where I went to I cut my plug which is fine I can solder it all back up um, but pretty much that's all hooked back up normal now so don't worry about that that was my mistake by calling them 
and they kind of gave me a universal fitment. Whereas when I the guy called me that made the forum post about all these LEDs, um, he told me exactly where to hook it because he was saying bulb on the post and I didn't know what bulb. So I assumed Super LED was right. You could hook it up any anywhere in line. But I tried it back there in the rear and apparently it doesn't work the same. So up here in the front, you can see my diode kit. It starts with this blue wire and there's two diodes and it's got two wires coming out. This is made up by Super LED and it comes just like that. Pretty much you come up here, you cut these these two wires away from these two wires that are in your dash. You wire the two red ends of the diode kit with the double wire into these two. Put one onto there. Then you ground this one out anywhere. I mean, you can look up in the wiring diagram if you want to wire it to a wire. You can run another wire to a bolt, whatever you want. It's it's up to you. But that it pretty much just works the way it does, and that's how it is. And let me see if I can find it. I got a little clip here. I'll just clip this on and show you that it does work. And the problem with it in the back, it just it didn't flash right and it only flashed on my dash. Let you know, depending on which way I flipped the bulb in here, it only flashed on the dash whether it was on the left or right, but not both. And then it still had a little bit of uh back feed through there which lit the other side just a bit, but it it would have been enough to notice at night. So pretty much I've got this side grounded. This side of the indicator runs to LED. So I'll turn my key on, hit the left signal. Both of my LEDs on the left flash and this one's flashing, which it wasn't before. Now I go to the right, and that's flashing, and this one's, the bulb's kind of loose, but yeah. It all flashes, you can see it there. But it flashes properly and it flashes right. So I'm pretty much going to button all this back up. But that's the main thing you want to know is where to hook this diode up. You take your dash, your, your speedometer out, and you hook it up right on where this bulb was hooked up, these two wires. And that's that. You can, I'll kind of get a close up there for you. So these two, the gray wire and the green wire is coming out of my harness and would have ran right into this bulb. But pretty much I hooked a diode in between both of those to that one and then hooked this other one to ground. And it works absolutely perfect. So that's that. And I'll kind of show you just why I've got it out. Cover up all my billing information. But you can see what it what it cost me here. This is without the Cyclops headlight, which comes from another website. And this is without my rear brake light LED. So this is everything you need that doesn't have the uh, rear brake light and the front headlight. So pretty much you can see what I paid there. Plus another 68 for the headlight and another 10 or 15 bucks for the LED tail light. And that'll convert your entire bike to LED. So this is all LED. Now I think they say they say, say it saves you like 40 to 50 watts, depending on you know. It's going to be different because you don't run your turn signals all the time. You only you know if you're sitting at a light a long time and you've got heated grips on, yeah, it's going to save you some wattage there. But other than that, you're only saving wattage really on your headlight, you know, your in, your dash lights and all that. So pretty much that's that, guys. Thanks for watching. You got any questions or anything? Because this took me all day and I was excited that I finally figured it out. It shouldn't have been that hard. But when there's limited information out there and you're not super into electronics, it's kind of difficult. So pretty much that's it. I'll put all the links in the description to get to the guide, to get all the parts, and you can convert your entire KLR 650 to LEDs. So thanks for watching, guys.